Hey guys, Saturday afternoon. Is it afternoon? Afternoon pa ba? Welcome back to Indie TV. Of course, with me, AC. And uh, I'm gonna be with a special guest for today. But before that, I'm gonna uh, uh, introduce to you my charity for uh, this Saturday. It's gonna be for uh, Asia Odra. Uh, out and about pa rin. Bibili pa rin kayo ng merch or magpipludge pa rin kayo. And then... Excuse the tricycle. <laughs> and then you'll get uh, merch in return. Pero yun, uh, all the proceeds will uh, be donated for Asia Odra. Meron siyang leukemia battle na kinakaharap niya. But, uh, hopefully, maging okay na rin. And if you guys want to help, uh, the link is um, on the description, I think. I put it there. Hopefully, I did. <laughs> but yeah, uh, first, we'll share naman yung ating... Uh, Stream if you can share it on your uh, Facebook page or group. And I hope I look okay because we have a special guest. We have Jason Steele on the house. Hello, who you Steele, right? I think uh, you're on mute. Oh, hold on. Okay. Yes. I saw no, your uh, YouTube uh, video and it. You are called PS Steel, is that right? Well, that that's my YouTube channel. Oh, so, okay. But so yeah, as Jason. an artist, you are Jason yes. Steel. Okay. Is yes, it? Yes, yes. As an artist, yes. Okay. So, mapapalawan tayo ng English because uh, he's <laughs> trying to learn Tagalog little by little. But, you know. Yes, and it's very, very little. <laughs> Super dahan dahan lang. Dahan, dahan lang. Like, uh, Super. what words do you know in Tagalog? Oh my gosh, you don't want to. I'm, I'm not allowed to say. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> of course, you get to know the the curse words first, right? Yes, yes. I, I've learned a few. I have a, I have a lot of funny friends here. So, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I'm I'm learning a few, few words here and there. But uh, <clears throat> you know, slowly but surely. Slowly. Okay. But uh, can you tell us uh, your background? You're from, originally, you're from Hawaii, right? Yeah, I'm originally from Hawaii. Uh, I moved here to the Philippines about a year ago. Um, about a year and a half ago. And then uh, in October, I signed with Viva Records. Um, and uh, I actually started doing music back in Hawaii. Um, when I was in high school, I was in a boy band. <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy, we want to uh, see that. Huh? We want to see that. Um, it's on YouTube actually, <laughs> okay, but um, see. it was actually with Bruno, Bruno Mars. So oh, he's great. uh, yeah, Bruno was in the group with me. He's he's he. Bruno's my best friend. So uh, I did music with him. Uh, then uh, we moved to LA together, and then now I'm here in the Philippines. Why the sudden move, by the way? Um, you know, I, I just wanted to travel. I wanted to see the world. And, um, you know, when I got here, I wasn't thinking that I was going to move here. You know, I'm part Filipino. My mom's mm -hmm. Filipino. Um, <clears throat> so when I got here, I definitely wanted to learn more about my culture. Um, and I just fell in love with it. You know, I fell <laughs> in love with the people, the food. And I love OPM music. You know, okay. I didn't I didn't even know OPM existed. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was in Hawaii, and I never listened to OPM music. But when I got here, uh, you know, a friend of mine, Brian Sombero from the group Bryson, yeah. um, you know, he kind of introduced me to OPM. And I just love it. I love I love all types, you know, rock, rap, you know, hip hop, R&B, the love songs, uh -huh. everything. I love everything about it. So, yeah. Um, so I ended up uh, producing an album, uh, producing a few songs for Rian Ramos, oh, in uh, right when I got here, and uh, she ended up becoming one of my closest friends as well. Um, so yeah, so I ended up staying, you know, and just working with <laughs> working on music. Mom, and... I'm gonna stay in the Philippines. Yeah, so I'm I'm here now. I'm here. I moved here. I'm permanently here for now. And uh, yeah, I mean you're st you're partly stuck here because you're not allowed to go anywhere <laughs> very true i can't leave um but I, I wouldn't leave i wouldn't leave even if um 
even if I could, uh, I might I might go on some vacations here and there. But to me, Philippines is home. You know, like it it it, it kind of reminds me of two of my favorite places, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hawaii and LA, two places that I lived. It's like a combination <laughs> of both. So I jo- I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It was last year the first time that you you know stepped foot in the Philippines. <clears throat> No, about six years ago, I came here, um, and I was kind of back and forth, living, kind of living here for like six months. Um, but I was flying a lot back and forth. This is the first time that I actually consider this place like my home. Oh, so before you were, you think that you were just tourist, you know? Yeah, I was. I was more tourist. Yeah. But now yeah, you're, yeah. you're for all your us, your Filipino. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And I'm connecting, and I'm learning more about my culture, and it's so nice. Um, you know, more proud to get to know what's going on, mm-hmm. and um, you know, just to learn everything. Yeah, everything, even the bad side. You're, are you learning the bad even the side? bad side? I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning everything. You know, but in life, you always gotta have bad and good. You know, it's it's never yeah, of course. It's never it's one never, side or the yeah. other, right? It's always. A combination. You always got to take the bad with the good, and that's kind of what makes things beautiful, right? Yeah. And unique is that they have both sides to it. So far, you are enjoying your stay in the Philippines. That's I love it. I love and it. You're I'm, making I've, uh... your mark everywhere. I saw you on YouTube. You have your Facebook page. Yes, yes. Uh, on YouTube, I just did a release a single. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I uh, released a cover of Ikaw Arako with uh, yes. um, uh, another uh, up-and-coming singer here. Her name is Cassie. And um, I'm also on Kumu. So Kumu. I have a show on Kumu. I have to try Kumu. You have to. You definitely have to try Kumu. It's really fun. I have a show every Friday and Saturday night with Daryl Ong. Uh, him and I, we do like R&B. Oh, <laughs> R&B songs. Okay. But... Because I saw uh, another artist, uh, she's Jerry from uh, Rouge. Jerry is my good friend. Yeah, Jer- oh, Jerry and I. Great. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Jerry, Jerry, well, Rouge. Yeah. And I, we we did a single. We released a single together in December. Oh, um, I didn't know that. For Christmas, Christmas music. Yeah, it was called "Spend This Christmas." So, oh, it was cool. Great. It was like rock, rock, and R and B came together. Yeah. Um. To do it, so yeah, Jerry's actually a, a good friend of mine. And I don't, she, I don't have a lot of friends. She's also in Kumu. In she's in Kumu. She's doing. Re- actually, I introduced her to Kumu. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I uh, when right when well, not right when Kumu started, but right uh, maybe like in January, mm-hmm. in January or December, I introduced them to the founders, the owners. The owners are my friends of Kumu. Oh, okay. so I introduced them to them because they're you know they're all Philams. Right, mm. the girl Abs. So we we all kind of know each other. So I introduced her to them, and uh, and now she's she's doing amazing. She's doing oh. really well. Okay, I need to try that too. Is that you like do. A, it's a, a super li- fun? It's a live streaming app, right? Live streaming app, yes, absolutely. And then what what do you uh what happens there if you go live? Do so earn- so yeah, you go live and you can actually earn money. By going live, you know you have people that give Money, you virtual okay. gifts, and there's act and there's legit. Some people earn anywhere from twenty five k pesos to seventy five thousand pesos oh, a day. A day, okay. A day. Okay. A day. We will um, <laughs> it's some people. Some people. I mean, it, it, it's not everyone, but a yeah, lot of people of actually are making that. I believe there's about five thousand filipinos right now that are earning a part-time income just streaming and there's about 250 to 300 filipinos that are earning uh, a full-time income and you can stream anything anytime anything whenever you want yes i mean we have a we have a spg version but you know (laughs) only to a certain extent (laughs) okay (laughs) great that's good that's good that you're in kumu so what else? Where we can listen to um, on Spotify, right? Spotify, absolutely. You can listen to my songs on Spotify. Um, I released uh, my first song was called "Sana Nandito Ka." It was a very taglish, well, 
mostly English and a few lines in Tagalog. <laughs> um, we didn't want to get crazy uh, with the Tagalog. Uh-huh. But um, that was released back in uh, October, November maybe of last year. And then uh, in December, we did Spend This Christmas with Rouge. And mm-hmm. then I released Rainbow. Actually, I did a cover of Rainbow. Rainbow from <coughs> South, Border. South Border. Yeah. Yeah, so we kind of flipped that up. And that was released in March. So I have a few I have a few songs coming out soon that I'm working on. And I'm excited. I have a collaboration with uh, JR and Chris oh. Lawrence that we're coming out with. That uh, we're in the studio right now. And... Uh, you know, a, a number of uh, YouTube covers. You know, I have uh, working with Daryl Ong on a cover, JR. Wow. Uh, Lance Busa from Philippine Idol we have. And Katsy and myself have a few more coming out. So, mm. been really busy during COVID. But I'm excited. <laughs> you know, I, lo- I love it. Oh, oh and, and I have one with Bryson coming out, actually. Oh, with we, Bryson too? We have a cover too? collaboration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're, fli- we're flipping a lot of songs. Yeah, it's good to collab with different genres and all that. Me. Yeah, I love it. You know, I love I love producing. I love music in general. I love all types of genres mm-hmm. of music. So, are you from a family of musicians? You know, my mom was a singer and a hula dancer actually because we're from Hawaii. Uh-huh. So, you know, my mom was uh, signed with uh, MCA. I believe it was MCA Records. Oh. Um, and she was a singer. She had a, an album out back in the day and. You know, she was a performer in Hawaii. And, uh, but my father had no musical talent. But he was a businessman, you know, businessman. So, um, I like to think I got the best of both worlds. From yeah, that's them. Cool. You know, they were, yeah, they were really good, really good parents, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I was very lucky and very blessed uh, to have them. Um, and, uh, yeah, they, they, they supported me in music. Ever since I was five years old, I was doing music. So, they supported me. Well, that's a that's what matters, right? If uh, your parents are supportive, people around you are supportive. Yes. And yes. Uh, I just want to say hi to the viewers out there. We have VJ Rex uh, Aselar, my teacher from uh, uh, from my high school, oh, wow. is watching. Hello, teacher. Jay. Nice, nice. <laughs> Jamil John Nicole Cardell Ton say hello, Joel Chavez Migs. That's waiting for me downstairs with my friend. The two Miguels, right. hello. Nelmer, Sonny, Georgette, and of course, JH. Sabi niya, Nako, English mapapalaban. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Sorry. have a choice, but it's okay. It's good to practice my English. Okay, uh, are you going to play one song for us? Is this an, your original or you're going to play a cover song? I mean, I can do a original first. So I can do my original first. Yeah, let's, if you let's, want let's me to. Okay. It, yeah. So the song is called San Anandito Ka. Okay. And uh, it's mostly English. <laughs> but, um, you know. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Never worry about who you love the most. My face on your screen, and that is the way it used to be. I used to, I used to be. Now you, you don't choose, you don't choose me. Wish I could hold you, but you are just too far. Wish Casa Makapa. Wish Casa Makapa. Like a scene from a movie. 
I've always been your leading man on screen. Now I, I can never stop. Just like how I can't blame gravity for falling in love. I used to, I used to be. Now you, you don't you. You don't choose me. Yeah. Wish I could hold you, but you are just too far. Wish a thousand rules is I did a thousand songs I think. wish I could be with you again oh so Wish I could hold you, but you are just too far. Sana na di toka. Wish ka ta ma ta ta. Sana na di toka. Wish I could hold you, but you are just too far. Okay, that was Sana Nandito Ka. That's Sana Nandito Ka by Jason Seal. According to Marlon Santos on uh, his comment on my Facebook page, Ang ganda ng bosses. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, And uh, we that. have someone watching from San Francisco, Binyan Laguna. <laughs> hey. I thought it's San Francisco, California. It's Binyan Laguna. Hello, guys. Oh. <laughs> like, yo. My Phil Labs are watching. My is <laughs> sleeping right now. Hello, everyone. And uh, who wrote this song, Everything. by the way, Jason? Um, I co-wrote it. So uh, mm. I wrote it uh, with a, a friend of mine, um, I.L. Tandok. I'm not sure if you know who he is. I.L. Rael. Mm -hmm. um, and... Is this about uh, your love life? Or do you have any inspiration? Um, you know, <laughs> is it about a long yeah, I mean, distance relationship? Yeah, I think it's like leaving, you know, leaving things that you love behind. So, sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> that happens a lot to me too. You know, it's funny because I never, ever, ever, that never, ever, ever happens. I never get calls. And then, of course, when I'm doing <laughs> this, you during know. an interview, it's okay. Maybe you need to answer that. Do you, do you want to answer that first? No, no, no. It's okay. Okay. okay I'll go. Um, let me just message that person and tell them to. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> all my Hawaii people. Because <laughs> I, th I think they're, they're trying to watch this. Oh, uh, okay. On our live. Keep yeah, they can just uh, watch it straight from Facebook if they're... Uh, yes, in yes. Some of my friends are... Internetly challenged. <laughs> Same. Well, I don't have Facebook before. I started my Facebook. Page. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I I just use Twitter. So right now, oh, okay. it's it's the thing, and you have to, you know, there's life in right. Facebook. You have to have your Facebook. I don't know. Yeah, Facebook. Actually, I wasn't on Facebook much either. Um, you know, before I 
came here to the Philippines. Oh. Or Messenger. You know, I was on uh, Instagram. Yeah, mostly. Instagram. But here you in the know? Philippines, everyone has Facebook. They're not gonna text you on your phone. They're just no, no, yeah. FB Messenger. <laughs> yeah. And it's and like I remember Brian, right? Some barrel, uh-huh. right? Some he was like, "Bro, you gotta get a messenger." I was like, "No, I'll, I'll just just hit me up on IG." He's like, "No, get on messenger. Get on messenger." Like, yeah, because everyone, like, the whole Philippines. <laughs> the yeah, screen. the whole Philippines on messenger. So. <laughs> yeah. So going back to your song, is it uh, about? Uh, your love life your own love life or you were just uh, inspired by other n- stories no I, I wouldn't say a love life but I mean you know because you know when I came here to the Philippines there were things that I miss and things that I love mm-hmm. you know um, um, but so you know I, I definitely missed a lot of these things so um, it, it's not it's not a personal story you know uh-huh. although like it can re- it can relate I'm sure Ooh. to a lot of people. Yeah, you know, especially now though. I think now it relates. Yeah, to... even if you're not, you know, that far. I mean, right? Because of out. quarantine, so a lot of people are <laughs> you're talking about, like you know, you know, wishing, you know, they were with that person, but it can't yeah. be right now. I so I should have said I wrote it about the future. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome. When I wrote, well, when I, I knew wrote what this, would happen. <laughs> Right? Yeah. So how's your quarantine, by the way? You're in your place in uh, Metro Manila. I'm in BGC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm in BGC. And um, I, I mean, it? It, it's okay. It's okay. It's not bad. You know, be- I think because I'm on Kumu so much, so I get to talk to a lot of people and meet a lot of people. I've, I've met a lot of people who have ended up becoming very important in mm-hmm. my life. So it's pretty cool. Um and um you know it's been it, it it hasn't been too bad you know i get like everything kind of delivered to me spoiled you know oh because you live in Cause metro there's... manila and everything you can call everyone i mean get everything delivered everything delivered you know everything's super cool you know so um yeah it it, it, it hasn't been bad i've actually um uh, got a lot accomplished mm-hmm. during quarantine and so, you you wrote a few songs. You have. A I wrote a, yeah. I wrote I wrote a few songs. Um, just been, yeah, working on music, and um, you know, working on. Uh, I'm doing a new album for Rian right now. A new a new album for her, Are and I'm collaborating like I said with a lot of artists. It for Rian. I'm sorry. Are you producing the music for Rian, or you're gonna yes, sing yes. for Rian? Everything, everything. Oh, great! But you're gonna do it. At your home, do you have your whole setup and all that? Um, I, you know, I, I have a setup. Like, <laughs> I have a setup. Okay. Um, and I, I can, I can, but I, I like sometimes getting out of my home to produce. Mm-hmm. Um, just because I have a different feel when I'm in a big recording studio. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, although, like, I, I, I don't mind recording stuff here. It's fun. You know, I set the mood, put on the lights. You know, like shine like a light like <laughs> That's like, cute. Uh, <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah, it kind of sets the mood, makes it different, you know. Yeah, if you're in the just like work mode and accomplish right. things. Totally. Right. Okay, so uh, can you tell us more about your YouTube channel? For mm-hmm. sure, you know when, when uh, so the YouTube channel is called Kuya Steel and. Yeah, why Kuya Steel? Is it okay? So yeah, okay. So <laughs> a long time ago, I had a Facebook page, and I used to just sing covers. Uh huh. Okay, um, just quick covers, quick covers on my Facebook page, and I would just put them up, and it started really blowing up in the Philippines. Oh, cause you're Philam. You know, like, yeah, cause I'm Philam, but I never expected it to blow up in the Phil- in the Philippines. Like I had songs that were having like. Two million views, a million views, and then I had oh. one. Um, I had one. Actually, when I got here to to the Philippines, uh, I did. I was in the mall uh-huh. in SM mm-hmm. Mega Mall, uh-huh. and um, I was walking, and the guy's like, "Sing karaoke." So oh. I was like, "Okay, I'll sing karaoke." So I went to go sing, and then um, somebody recorded it. Uh huh, and that went viral. 
it went viral. I had like eight or nine million, I think eight or nine million views. Oh my and, god. And uh, yeah, so but everyone was calling me Kuya Steel because mm-hmm. Jason Steel is my name. Uh-huh. And it was so funny because I kind of knew what Kuya was, you know, but uh-huh. like I never really used the, the word because you know we just were so separated from. You know, like my grandfather was born in the Philippines, so my mom wasn't born in the Philippines. You know, so oh, okay. um, so I just everyone was calling me Kuya Steel, Kuya Steel. So I just named my page Kuya Steel. Like I didn't really understand why. <laughs> I was like, whatever. So when I got to the Philippines, I was like, okay, well, I'll just name it Kuya Steel. You know, and it kind of stuck as a YouTube channel. I mean, I didn't want to call myself that as a singer, because uh-huh. uh, you know, but as a YouTube channel, so. Basically, my YouTube channel, um, all my videos were just my experiences here in the Philippines, um, and really like a foreigner's guide to the Philippines, like from coming from like a Phil Am. Yeah. So a lot of my um, viewers or subscribers, a lot of them are Phil Am. A lot of them are OFWs around the world that are looking like, you know, they ask me like how. Because a lot of them want to come back and live here. Mm-hmm. A lot of them want to vacation. So they ask me like what restaurants are good. How much does it cost to live here in the Philippines? Uh-huh. They ask me about like passport stuff, visa. Um, and then I started doing more adventures. Um, like your top 10 things to do in Subic. Yeah, your top five places that. to eat. You know. And then recently, I always wanted to do OPM covers. You know, and uh-huh. I tried one a long time ago, and it was super bad. Like my pronunciation was horrible. Like it was like <laughs> I did I did Bakit Paba. Oh, from JR. And it's from JR, and it was super like it was like the Konyo remix. Like it was really <laughs> really bad. And it was so funny because just recently I played it for him, and he was laughing. Uh, like, like last <laughs> week. Um, but so I was, and I'm still I'm still nervous to sing Tagalog, but I love Tagalog songs. Mm-hmm. You know, so I had enough courage to start a YouTube channel where I'm just gonna like, I mean, I'm gonna do some English songs, but focus primarily on cover uh-huh. songs and kind of, but 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 singing in in like, but changing up the song so it's more R and B, yeah, more hip hop, more trap, you know, and that's like, so my first cover right was Ikaw at Ako, and um, I was very. Um, I was nervous to release it because I was afraid everyone was going to hate on the way no, I sang the words or pronounce. Oh, thank you like, so much. Thank you, you. you just uploaded that yesterday, right? A day yesterday, ago. Yesterday, yeah. Yeah, you have yes. like a thousand views already. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And the thing that surprised me, I think we have like 140 something likes and zero dislikes. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm waiting for the, for the dislike. For the dislike. Not, <laughs> you know, because... I'm just surprised. I was like, I thought there was going to be 140, you know, mm-hmm. dislikes. Because, you know, Tagalog is just very hard for me. I'm, I'm really trying, though. I really, I'm, I, I, I will be fluent. I promise. Maybe yeah. by the end of the year, maybe uh-huh. a year from now. But I will, like, that's that's my goal. I mean, uh, Will Dasovich, you know Will, right? He's a YouTuber, yes. too. And uh, <clears throat> he's... He speaks Tagalog, but with a different accent, of course, because he's mm. from the US. Yes. Too. So maybe so I'll, get I'll probably there. have a different accent. When yeah, I speak like it. Uh, the the Konya slang still, but you the know, Konya like, slang. <laughs> yes, yes. But still speaking in Tagalog. Do you understand Tagalog? I mean, the songs that you were singing in Tagalog, um, the OPM. That so you the were to. yeah, so the songs that I sing, um, I do understand them uh, at the time, right? I mean, I learn about mm-hmm. them. I learn about them because. I think it's important to learn what you're singing about. Of course. You know? um, but, um, and, and, and like, you know, if people are not talking super directly to me, I can understand a lot of the conversation. Like, I get the gist mm, of the conversation. Okay. But if it's a specific question, like, I, I know a lot of root words. So, right. like, you know, like, if, if someone were to say, like, you know, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. Like, Laba. Uh, Do you know Laba? Laba? Yes. L A B A? L A B A, yes. What is Laba? It's uh, laundry. Oh, see, I didn't know that. But I know Labas. <laughs> oh, Labas. Okay, Labas. 
The you bus know? is outside, um, right? So yeah, yeah. So when people add the like nakaka, makaka, makak, you know, like yeah. like all the different thi- all the different additions, like you know, like <laughs> umi inom, 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 like all the different, yeah. like you know, like all the different. Uh, 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 I don't when know you what add things called, onto but, yeah, the the addition. Yes, yes. <laughs> Additional. Those, that that screws me up all the time. So oh, I'm, I don't okay. know, you know, I don't know what to like say. So that's why I don't want to speak it because I always use the wrong like context, maybe or, or mm. pretext or whatever it is. Yeah, it, it's so. it's understandable because it's hard to under, uh, understand too. When yeah. I was younger, it, it, I didn't know that too. Like I always um, fail Filipino because. Because of that, exactly because of that, the uh, lala, lalabas, lumalabas. Yes. So, yeah. That's, but it's just the same yeah. thing. Like outside, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go outside. Lalabas <laughs> right. ko. Uh, I don't yes. know. It, it just confused pagod. me before. Na yeah. yeah, that, that yeah. pagod, nakakapagod, napagod. Yes. <laughs> yeah, see that really, oh yeah. man, that's so hard for me. But it, it, it's funny because, <laughs> so... On my show that I do with Daryl, Daryl doesn't speak English really, oh. and I don't speak Tagalog, so we're trying to talk to each other. <laughs> it's the funniest <laughs> thing in the world, and that's why we did it because it's funny because we both love R and B, we love to sing, but um, it's funny when you try to when he tries to talk to me or I try to talk to him, and we're both looking at each other with nosebleed, <laughs> both of us. But it's good to be connected with uh, only one language, music, right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Is that connected? Yes. All? Everyone is. Our bleed up is me. nosing all the time. Yeah. I think. <laughs> uh, John Mark in Lucido is checking up on me if uh I still have blood because of the nose bleed and all. That. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah, extra I'm tissues good. here next to me, <laughs> just in case. Um, according to Marlon Fisher Santos, Brian McKnight, he have a taga- he has a Tagalog song. I forgot the title. Yes, it's like um, I'm so sorry. Na, 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 na. I have to learn it though. That was yeah. actually one of the songs I wanted to learn. Oh, and uh, Nadine Hidayat is here. Oh, Nadine, what's and, up, Nadine? Uh, yeah, looking and sounding great, Jason. Hands down. Uh, Hey, thank you, thank you, Nadine. And Natalia Alexandra. Alexandra. Hey, Nat, what's up? Love you, Kuya Steel. Hey, love you too, my really, <laughs> really good friend. So Actually, uh-huh. Natalia, Nat was the first person that I ever met in the Philippines, How and you- through her, through her, I met Brian. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Brian is from uh, Bryson, by the way. Bryson, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I used to call them other uh, band, Brisom. Brisom. Yeah, I, I didn't know that it's Bryson. <laughs> yeah. So the manager uh, walked straight up to me. Hey, you're, you're calling the band the wrong. The wrong name. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know. Every everyone does it though. Everyone calls them Brisom. I mean, yeah, because it looks like Brisom. <laughs> yeah, even on the. Even I watched this movie last night about uh, is it oh, vodka on vodka beer and regrets? Yeah, they call it uh, bring some too. Bring but some. they're singing Bryson, yeah. Bryson song. Yeah. Oh, I saw your no. uh, YouTube video, your foreigner reaction. It's getting so many views. Oh, like you yeah. reacted on uh, OC dogs. Oh yeah, Pauwi Nako. Oh yeah. Did Did you understand uh, Pauwi Nako or? Do you have you know learn it? <laughs> no, I, or I mean translate it. You know first? they they do have subtitles. They have mm. subtitles, <clears throat> but I like I like to kind of watch. I kind of like to watch it and not really know what it's what I'm talking about, what it's talking about in the beginning, uh-huh. and then I watch it with the subtitles after, because I want to focus on like the music the, and just kind of hear it yeah. and not read, mm-hmm. you know, and watch the performance. But yeah, that one has a lot. Like, yeah, it has. A lot. Yeah, there's a few song, there's a few <clears throat> um, uh, oh, reaction videos. People are really uh, into your foreigner reaction. And yeah, you my reaction videos about have the, the Philippines. Yeah, the reaction videos for the music, um, ha, they were the they're the highest uh, engagement that I have. Uh-huh. Um, 
And it's cool because, um, you know, I get to learn more OPM songs that way. And that's really, that was like what really, really like tied me in, you know, to, to, to OPM and learning all the different artists. And it's cool because a lot of these artists that I reacted to, they're like my friends now, you know, like Bugoy, oh. uh, JR, I reacted to JR. Uh, who did I react to? Um, Chloe Redondo, uh, Daryl, of course. Um, who else? Oh man, I forget. There's a few others that I that I did reaction videos to, and now you know they're like good friends of mine. So it's yeah, it's yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool to like uh, you know, and and I'm working with a lot of them too mm -hmm. to put out songs. So maybe if you who have knows, someone, maybe somebody like... will do a reaction of me. Oh, maybe let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. One <Come> reactors. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about that later. But uh, do you want to sing a cover song for us right now? Sure, sure. So, so I'll do a cover song. Okay. Um. So as you know, as you can tell, my my influence is R and B. Mm hmm You know, so uh, is um, well. One of my favorite artists is a guy named, I like Neo Soul, like Neo Soul R&B, yeah, Music yeah. Soul Child. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me jam. Uh, so here's a song called Just Friends. Just Friends? Yes. Can you hear, um, can you hear it okay? Yep. Loud and clear. A little piano over here. Girl, I know this night seems strange, but let me know if I'm out of order for stepping to you this way. I've been watching you for a while and I Gotta let you know that I'm really feeling your style Cause I have to know your name And leave you in my number Then I hope that you would call me someday If you want, you can give me yours too If you don't, well, I ain't mad at you, no we can still be cool, cause I'm not trying to pressure you. Just can't stop thinking about you. You ain't even really gotta be my girlfriend. I just wanna know your name, and maybe sometime we can hook up, hang out, just jam. And I'm surprised that you call, cause the way you walked away. I thought I wasn't going to see you no more. Since you didn't want to give me your name, I thought that you were digging me, but you weren't digging me. And anyway, what you doing tonight? I'll probably be with my peeps. If it's cool, well, maybe we could swing by. We can just chill. Girl, you can just chill with me. As long as you're comfortable, you feel secure. You're with me cause I'm not trying to pressure you Just can't stop thinking about you You ain't even really gotta be my girlfriend I just wanna know your name And maybe sometime we can pick up Hang out, just chill oh, oh. There you go, that's Music Soul Child, just just friends, called just friends. Thanks, thanks, Jason. Yes. Uh, did and you, you know? Oh, go I'm sorry. Ahead. I was gonna say that that just uh, disclaimer. I'm not really a piano player, guitar player. Actually, uh, I was I, I was mentioning earlier my my keyboardist that was actually ah. supposed to be here today. We're supposed to be working on stuff. He got sick, so mm -hmm. bear with me on my piano skills. But you know, but uh, shout out to my boy Tabin. Hope you get better. Yes. Yeah, Feel uh, better soon. Anyway, I was just gonna ask you about that. Like, uh, did you formally learn music in school, or do you have a tutor? So, 
when I was really, really young, mm-hmm. I um, I had a voice, I had a vocal coach, but it was uh, for classical music. So when I was a little kid, starting at six years old, I would tour around the world singing classical music, wow. singing like opera musicals, uh, just classical stuff with like symphonies. And I was always like the little kid singer. <laughs> um, and then uh, it wasn't until about high school that, um, you know, I was uh, in my choir, right? We were in, we were in choir in, in, in high school. Uh-huh. I think it was like my freshman year. And this, uh, this R&B group came and they sang for us. And all the girls went crazy. And I was like, oh my God, I want to sing r and <laughs> I'm going to ditch classical and be in an r and music. Yo, yeah, because, you know, like everybody was going crazy for these guys. And no one cared about classical music. You know, like <laughs> no one ever went crazy over opera for me. Um, so, yeah. So I ended up uh, uh, forming a group, forming a band. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, Bruno Mars was in that band mm-hmm. too. And uh, yeah, I mean, we were, you know, we did music. <laughs> that's how it started. To get all the girls. That was it. That was it. <laughs> that's why we did it. But, you know, I, I really fell in love with music. And, you know, as I grew older, you know, it was more to, you know, to me, doing music is like, You get to inspire people mm-hmm. by doing what inspires you. Right. And I think that's one of the secrets in life. If you can do that, you can be very happy, right? Like if you get to do what inspires you and then by doing what inspires you, you inspire other people, no matter what it is, whether it's you're being a chef, you're being a DJ, being mm-hmm. a comedian, um, you know, businessman, whatever, businesswoman, whatever it is, you know. So I love that I'm able to do that now. But before I got into it because of the girls, for sure, 100%. <laughs> um, but now it's definitely, it has a higher meaning uh-huh. for now. Yeah. And uh, you learn your instrument uh, along the way. But first... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I learned uh, piano by ear. So, I mean, I can play piano enough to fake it. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I always say, like, like, I can accompany myself. But I, I, I know so, so many talented musicians that I never consider myself a keyboardist. Because right. uh-huh. there are just some really, really, really amazing yeah, keyboardists. Yeah, same, same. You know, it's like I know how to play. I wouldn't say I'm a I'm, I'm a keyboardist. I know how to play. I know how to play guitar a little. You know, uh, I know enough to write music. So I write a lot of music, produce a lot of music. So, have you ever produced music for hip hop uh, artists? For hip hop artists? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have. I have, and I actually have a couple of actually hip hop tracks coming out here soon in the Philippines too. I'm, oh. I'm collaborating with uh, Pio Babuena. I'm working with him okay. on something, and um, but yeah, even in the in the U.S., a lot of hip hop artists I worked with. That's so great. Okay, uh, one question. This is uh, not too personal, but it's maybe a bit personal. I don't know. Uh, which people are easier? To- Sorry, I yeah. Did was okay, that? Okay, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, so, so my... what, what was the question? I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, is it hard to please uh, Filipinos than your Hawaiian friends? Um. Uh. No. You know. Um. You know, they, they seem very supportive. Like, they've been very supportive of my music here. I mean, mm-hmm. at Hawaii, they're pretty supportive too, you know. But I think here, um, they're, they've been more supportive. And, you know, I, I think... Uh, 
Hello, I think I lost you there again. Okay. I'm okay. A, it here. was my interface. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you were saying, sorry. Yeah, so I think uh, it's a lot easier. I definitely um, have a lot of support here. Like, uh -huh. it really seems like I've been getting a lot of support from Filipinos, which is very cool, you know? Um, like, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's been easier here to do the music that I like to do. And that's R&B. Oh, you know, really? um, I love R&B. I love like who got, uh -huh, songs, who you know? good songs. I love good. that. Yeah. You know, Filipinos and, and, love and that in, too. yeah. And I, I love that. And like in Hawaii, R&B and who got music, it's not super popular. Like there's, there's a lot, a lot of people like it, but they don't really they don't really play a lot of local artists that do R&B on the radio. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, yeah. They play a lot of island music, reggae music. Oh, right. Um, Is it Hawaii? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, I, I just think just because of the, the, the type of music people like to listen to, mm -hmm. um, here, it's been a lot, they've been a lot more supportive of my music. Well, have you tried the uh, playing for a reggae band or something? Have I tried doing reggae in Hawaii? Yeah. Um, because you're from there, right? You're from Hawaii. I, I am. I am. I am. Um, you know, did, like there were support. Did, I mean, you started in with classical. You you didn't even go to reggae. <laughs> no, I have. I have been done reggae. Actually, I, I have a. I have some collaborations coming up. Some reggae collaborations, okay. actually. You know. Um with the uh, Kolohe Kai. I'm going to be doing oh, some work with him. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I actually had him on Kumu recently. Oh. I brought him on. Because, <laughs> um, you know, we're all from Hawaii. So I had him on Kumu on, on one of my shows and everyone went crazy over his music. Because I, it's so funny because when I got here, I didn't know people knew who he was. I mean, I know he's big in Hawaii. Yeah, I know who I, he I didn't was. Realize. Maybe the artist friends in here. But, yeah, uh, people love not... his music here. So... So yeah, so I have a lot of collaborations, reggae island stuff set up. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't personally done reggae music yet. <laughs> and it's weird because you started with classical. You didn't start with reggae. You haven't done reggae. No, yeah, classical to R and B. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I love, I love reggae music. Don't get me wrong, I love it. Yeah, I just yeah, love of course. R and B. You just haven't songs. tried it yet. Yeah, I Maybe tried you it. need to Who try knows? it next time. Like, do a cover of a reggae song. Right? <laughs> right? Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, I I'm always trying to, like, t uh, test myself. I, yeah. I like to push myself. Like, uh, like I'm doing a cover. My next release on YouTube, I think, is going to be Bakit Ba Ikaw uh -huh. by Michael Pangalinan. Oh, okay. And that was a very, very... That, it's it's the hard, one of the hardest songs I've ever tried to learn. <laughs> And like, I'm always afraid to perform it or sing it. You know, I've never performed it before or sung it. So just in the studio. Mm -hmm. so. so according to John Mark in Lucido, Kolo Huikai is my favorite. So that's it. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, we know. Kolo yeah, we're, we'll, be, we'll be coming out with a song soon. Yeah, we'll be uh, looking for that. Song. Release under Viva too. So that'd be pretty oh, cool. Hello, shout out to Viva. Maybe you can try uh, something like uh, R&B singer trying out reggae on your youtube reggae here. on my youtube yes, yeah yeah because yeah. that's a good uh, title too. yeah well uh, for are sure, you for ready sure. for uh because we have so many supporters here in the philippines like we support opm 100 percent. but of course awesome. there are people who doesn't like anything like they hate the word uh the world the they just want to yeah they just want to hate everything that's yes, coming up on yes. youtube and all that are you ready <laughs> for that yeah, yeah. I mean, I got I get a lot of hate on my YouTube channel. Uh, oh, not really? a lot, not a lot, not a lot of hate, but I get, um, you know, because have you have you heard of Pinoy baiting? No. So Pinoy baiting is a term that you know, like uh, a lot of uh, trolls on the internet are coming up with. Uh, not just trolls. Uh, there's actually some, you know, people like uh, bloggers uh -huh. that. Um, you know, and, and when foreigners come to the, a lot of foreigners are doing content about the Philippines because, you know, Filipinos support foreigners doing yeah videos about 
the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there are a lot of fake reactions with foreigners doing certain things. And I, and I watch it. Like, I cringe a lot when I when I see a lot of these videos. Mm -hmm. But I've gotten a lot of that from, from people. Like, they're like, oh, you're a foreigner. And I'm like, no, but I'm part Filipino. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. They don't know. And after they find out, then they kind of stop. But, you know, I've gotten, I've gotten some hate, you know. Um, it's crazy. Like, like, like one guy doesn't like LA. My LA hat, like he hates LA. Oh, so he gets, really? he's like, oh, you he know, your figured. freaking hat, love it, your <laughs> stupid hat. Like, it's like on every video and he watches all my videos and he likes my videos, but he's like, but I hate that stupid hat. And it's, it's the craziest thing. I'm like, bro, like he's so angry at me <laughs> and I just keep wearing my hat. He goes, oh, there he is with that stupid hat again. You know, so so, you just hates it. He just hates your hat. He just hates my hat, you know. <laughs> so it's funny, it, 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 and and I know, I know, you know, like there's always there's always like pro positive and negative, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, here, yeah. you know, Philippines have a lot of very positive fans, and they also I know they have also a lot of uh, you know, very uh, negative, yeah. toxic, uh, you know, fans of other, uh, you know, so. Right. I've, uh, um, <laughs> it wouldn't, um, what was I going to say? My friend, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> my friend's messaging me. Um, they're watching. Oh, hello. Um, okay. I gotta, I gotta close the box. <laughs> I'll tell you. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, when I first started here, a lot of my friends that are in the music industry told me to be careful for the toxic. Yes. Comments, especially yeah. on Twitter. So I haven't actually gotten really. I do have a Twitter account, but I haven't been active on it. So my friend said, like, Twitter is really good for the industry, but it's also really bad. So it's like you yeah. have to kind of do it at your own risk. Yeah, actually, because uh, we have like one mistake, <clears throat> you will get canceled on Twitter. So That's what that, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> you got to really watch what you what you post. Yeah, you got to so be I'm careful afraid. about that. You know, I, but Brian, you know, from Bryson, he always helps me. He's like, don't say that. Don't post that. Don't, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> he's so nice. He's even uh, looking after you, like after your. He looks post. after me. Yeah. yeah, he's a he's a good friend. Um, you know, be, even though like I was born in Hawaii, I I, I lived in LA for a very long time, mm -hmm. so <clears throat> I'm also very straightforward. And Philippines, it's not like that. Yes. And and actually Hawaii too. Mm -hmm. Hawaii too is very similar, oh, where you kind is. of like, you kind of have to like not really say things you say things indirectly yeah and when i got here <laughs> like my good friends like they would get mad at me because i would say things to them and like they wouldn't talk to me for like three days, <laughs> like four days. Is that, like, because we're not used to it i mean yeah i got used I, to it because I, I have uh yeah. you uh, clients from the u.s but at first i was uh, like offended like how come this client says this uh this to my face like why <laughs> But yeah, I got used to it. <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah, I mean, so I had to deal with that. I had to learn that. That was one of the first things that I learned um, being here. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm, I'm used to it now. And, and you know, you're always got to take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. And, you know, I know not everyone's going to be a fan, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm you know, I, I like to really focus on the positive things. You know, sometimes, you know, it's funny. We could have you know, put out a YouTube video and you have 10 likes and one dislike and you're focused on that dislike. You're like, oh my gosh, like, why did that person dislike me? Yeah, you you know, you have I one bad wrong? comment and you just focus yeah. on that bad comment, but you have nine other amazing comments. And, you know, as humans, we tend to focus on the negative and not focus on all the positive things. So, you know, anytime something negative happens in my life, I always think, okay, well, what are all the positive things? that are happening to me? What are all the things that I'm grateful for? Mm -hmm. And by doing that, it helps me to cancel out the negative. Right. Yeah, I'm going to apply that to my life right now. <laughs> well, not that I'm receiving like bashers and all that, or all the hate. I'm, I'm super yeah, loving, we, we, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course, of course. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't have anything. But, you know, it's good to be ready. It's good to focus on your... Uh, shit, your own shit, and not focus on the mm -hmm. bad thing. Absolutely, absolutely. It's good to be ready still. <laughs> right, right, right. 
<laughs> Great. So, uh, sing another song for us, and then we're gonna promote all of your things that you're doing, and then. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this, so this is a song that I have. Uh, it's a cover that I, that I have. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna try to do a Tagalog song, but I'm, I'm too afraid. But no, I, I wanna do. I wanna. <laughs> the bashers might go. <laughs> Yeah, come after you um, like today. No, I'm just kidding. Right, right. Let me no, learn it better. No, we support but, um, you. It's okay. Oh, thank you. No, but I, I did this cover. Uh, it's on. Uh, it's a, it's on Viva, on Halo Halo, mm -hmm. um, their Halo Halo TV show, and uh, it's uh, from Neil, who's my one of my favorite R&B artists. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, it's called Mad. So I'll do it. Great. She's staring at me, I'm sitting wondering what she's thinking. Nobody's talking, talking just turns into screaming, no. Now it's, I'm yelling over her, she's yelling over me. All that it means is neither of us is listening. And what's even worse, we both never remember why we started. See, both of us are mad for now. Nothing, nothing, and we can let it go for nothing, nothing, should be nothing to love like what we got, cause baby, I know sometimes it's gonna rain, and maybe can we wake up now, cause I can't sleep through the pain, and I don't wanna go to bed. Bad at you, but I don't want you to go to bed. Bad at me, and I don't want to go to bed. Bad at you, but I don't want you to go to bed. Bad at me, mm -hmm. and it gets me upset, girl, when you're constantly accusing me. We're fighting this war, and baby, both of us are losing. Oh, oh, oh. What happened to working it out? We fall into this place where you ain't backing down and I ain't backing down. So what the hell do we do now? It's all for nothing, nothing, nothing. And we can let it go for nothing. Nothing should be nothing to love like what we got. Cause baby, I know some Time's gonna rain And maybe can we wake up now Cause I can't sleep through the pain And I don't wanna go to bed Bad at you And I don't want you to go to bed Bad at me I don't wanna go to bed Bad at you And I don't want you to go to bed Bad at me Oh That was called Mad by Neil. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here's the thing. We've been talking in English uh, like for an hour already. Let me just turn on my... Are my you mind. bleeding? Nose? Are you yeah. nose bleeding? Okay. A bit. You're doing so well. Please. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm used to it because I, I, I have a lot of friends who okay. speaks in English. Who... Nice. Who's calling you like a? It, it it's <laughs> it's like I have two personalities. When I when I'm with my college friends, they speak in English. Right, yeah, but right. When I'm with my rockista, my uh, musician friends, we all speak right, in Tagalog. Right, right. All speak in Tagalog for sure. Yeah, but uh, here's the twist. I want you to promote your uh, thing, like your music, your YouTube channel in Tagalog. So that way, you're the one who's nose bleeding now. Can you oh do my that god, for I, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't I would even know what to say. Um, um, Maybe we, you uh, can just try. Or even taglish. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't even know. I mean, now, see, now I, I'm drawing a blank because it's really. 
<laughs> wow, this lady challenges me. Oh this my god. god, I'm just like sweating now. See, I'm sweating. I can't <laughs> think. Oh my gosh, I got I gotta learn how to I gotta learn how to do it. Um, 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 um. You, you, you just try. Like, I have a YouTube channel, right? Yes, I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> So that was good. There we go. That was it. My uncle YouTube channel. Please see you. Yeah, invite them to subscribe uh, to your YouTube channel and uh, listen. Paki subscribe po. Great. You know, I think that's the thing. Hampasin mo yung like button. Yes. Hampasin mo yung like button. That's the thing with uh, Filipinos. We are also afraid to speak in English. Just really? because we're afraid of uh, making mistakes. But, you know, we can understand English. Like, It's been yeah, you can taught, totally understand English. Even when we were young, uh, grade school, we we speak in English in schools, right? We have English class, actually. It's just that uh, Filipinos are not confident to speak in uh, English, and uh, we're just afraid. So maybe you're just afraid to speak in Tagalog. You know how to speak in Tagalog, but you're just afraid. Are you still there? Sorry, wait. Yeah, I sorry, I was. <laughs> Okay. Oh, is it uh is it working can you hear me now now it is now it okay. is i don't know okay. what happened sorry okay uh so <laughs> what i'm saying because I, i was getting nosebleed so <laughs> it came off. that that's uh your excuse <laughs> yes 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 So let's start with your YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe kayo on my YouTube channel. Something like that. Okay, is that what it is? Subscribe kayo on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, so it's, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my God, Philippines. My God, uh, Philippines. I don't know. I, I mean, I. That's all I know. I uh, what I said is all I know. <laughs> What about uh, on your Spotify? So Spotify is Jason Steele. Jason Steele. Yeah, search nyo lang uh, Jason Steele <laughs> on Spotify and you'll see. And yeah. makikita nyo. <laughs> Nak- nakikita. So, what is that? Watch? Makikita, yeah. C. It's like uh, C. The C, right? Yeah, C, C, right? See, I, I can understand a l- more yeah, than I can you say. Can like, I can't, wait, like, I can't, like, it's so weird. Like, if I'm asked to say something that I just, like, I'm totally, bl- I just, <laughs> it just, all the Tagalog I know leaves my brain. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to practice that. I'm now that, like, now, so it's good. So, I, next next time, if there's ever a next time. Yeah, of course, there's a next I time. I interview. I promise, like, I'll come and, like, I'll be better. You, you said by the end of the year you'll be better, right? By the end of the year I'll be fluent, but by okay. the yeah, so. Whenever... I'll, I'll tell Sir Joel to you know invite you again on December, yes. and then he'll be speaking like Jason still will be speaking in Tagalog, and yes, promoting yes. his gigs and all that. Oh, by the way, did you <laughs> oh. experience gigs in the Philippines? Yes, yes, I, I I've done a few gigs. Yeah, so I, I've done a few mall shows. Oh, okay. um. On the the miracle, in cell number seven. seven. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I did a few of those. Uh, I maybe did like three or four mall shows, um, and then I did a few like colleges. Oh. Um, It's fun to be in. Yeah. To yeah, yeah. In so front I, of the kids. I mean, yeah, they're not kids. Saint Therese. <laughs> yeah. yeah Saint Therese, and then uh, we did. Uh, In Pampanga, Angeles City. Oh. Or Angeles University. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, I performed at like, uh, um, what's that place called? In BGC, Upper House? Upper House? Oh, Upper House. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Have you been to, have you... to local bars with uh, Bryson? Yes, I've been to all of the. A lot of, I mean, I, I go with I go with Bryson everywhere. So <laughs> I've been to all I've been to all like uh, most of them. I've been to most of them. Um, you know, like Twelve Monkeys, Nineteen East, uh-huh. uh huh, and some of the other ones too. I just can't think of the names, but you know, 
I go with him a lot. I see. Well, you you saw the. See, Katrina Luzon says, "Kaya mo yan." Kaya mo yan. <laughs> You can do it, meaning you can do oh, it, according to Katrina Luzon. Thank you, Katsy. That's Katsy, <laughs> actually. That, she's from the... Oh, that's the, Katsy? That's Katsy, yes. Hello, Katsy. Maybe next time we can uh, guess Katsy over here. Oh, yeah. That'd be yeah. great. Yeah, we, have, we, have, we have a few more songs coming out, so... Yeah, for us to promote your song. That's great. Aww, and congrats on the awesome. Ikawatako cover, Katsy and Jason. It's really good. Yeah. Well, All right. Uh, so go exciting. ahead and promote your. Uh... So much powies. Yeah, so much powies. <laughs> go ahead and, and uh, promote and, and your. And I've uh... been, I've been up. I've been like, I haven't slept. So, oh, I think what was the term? That's sabaw? your excuse. <laughs> it's about. <Sabaw>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my, so I can't so speak. You were just uh... about. Yes. Yes. I'm just about. So. <laughs> All yes. right. So All right, go okay. Ahead. So Instagram, guys. Instagram mm-hmm. and Facebook. Um. Kuya Steel and and YouTube all Kuya Steel. Oh, you're Kuya and Steel Twitter, and Twitter Kuya underscore Steel. Yeah. So because there's so many Jason Steels, I figure Kuya Steel is fine. Uh-huh. But you know, you can call me whatever you guys want to call me. But okay, it's okay Jason I already Steel. followed you by the way. Okay, hey, that was can't last. Follow you back. Yeah, that was last night. I think. But yeah, congrats on your new cover. Like a thousand views already. Yeah, that was very cool. Very cool. I'm very excited on that. And um, and uh, yeah, follow him on YouTube, Marriage from Spotify. Yes. Um, and then on Kumu, I'm Jason Kumu, Steele. Kumu, right? So. Kumu, I need. On Kumu, I'm Jason Steele. Yeah, I'll 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 send you a, a link to help you get set up. Oh really? Okay. Great. Yeah. Cool. Right Show on. you the ropes. <laughs> so I could just do it's, anything. It's really cool. Right. Yeah, no, I think you would enjoy it. I think you enjoy it. <laughs> it's really fun. I mean, um, some of yeah, it, it it is fun. I've I've met a lot of really, 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 really amazing people there, so I enjoy doing it. Um, it yeah. it's it's become they always say in Kumu like Kumu is life because you know no one's no one's like some people actually sleep on the stream. Oh really? You know, because you can you can have like nine people in a box, and there's some people that's like. And then, like, <laughs> once a week, once a week, myself, JR, Chris Lawrence, uh, a few other people, like, <laughs> we'll, like, go on and have a drink online. Like, we'll have, like, a little party uh-huh. and we have a drink once a week. You know, so it's fun. Like, you know, you really you really can connect with people during this time. Oh, right. Because uh, we yeah. cannot go out and all that. Yeah, right. I mean, they have they have DJs, so they have clubs on there, like virtual oh. clubs. <laughs> That's so virtual cute. club, virtual casino. Like, it's, it's really fun. It's really fun. You definitely okay. have to try it. Okay, let me try it. Uh, maybe later. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll download it. Yeah, yeah. Let me know, and then we'll uh, get you locked in. Katsy's really, really big on there as well. Oh, really? Uh, so Katsy. yeah, so we we'll have we we'll have both of us uh, swinging around. <laughs> According to Ka- uh, Katsy, sweating cowboy. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Sobra. Sobra. All right. Uh, thank you, Jason, for your time. I won't take too much of your time already. I thank, thank you so you much. Too. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you again on uh, the end of the year. More yes. fluent and all that. 100%. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, again, guys, follow him on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram everywhere he's also on youtube he has a spotify jason Steele. i uh, will put the link maybe later i think for cool. will put the link. all right do you have anything <laughs> uh, else to promote that's it thank you guys all right thank, thank you, you guys for watching jason, and uh i'll see you in kumu yeah yes <laughs> for sure all right bye all right take care yes bye-bye All right, uh, that was it, guys. Sobrang uh, liwanag pala pag ganito. Parang kailangan ko siyang ayusin. Sobrang liwanag. Ito na yung lowest setting. But anyway, ako rin pinawisan dun sa interview na yun. Ah, hoy. <laughs> uh, guys, hindi ko na pala na-promote yung aming uh, charity. Out and about, guys. I'm helping right now. Bukod dun sa frontliners, I'm helping. Asia Audra, she's fighting. Uh, a leukemia battle. So all the stars that will be donated... 
Ayan, hindi sana nga tuloy ako. Hindi ko na mabalik sa dati. Lahat ng idodonate nyo. <laughs> Lahat ng idodonate nyo. Uh, mga stars po sa ating team ay idodonate po doon sa ating leukemia battle with uh, Asia. So yeah, that's it guys. Kung hindi nyo pa nalike yung Indie TV uh, Radio. Oh, Indie TV PH. Ba't hindi ko pa na edit Okay, Indie TV PH. Uh, Facebook page and we're also on uh, YouTube in the TV. Of course, nasa Twitch ako. Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Ayan, hey DJ AC. And soon on Kumu kasi nirecruit na ako ni Jason on <laughs> Kumu. And guys, salamat, salamat. And nandiyan, Lawrence, Katie Brew, si Be, si Grace, Ghost Bear, and si MJ. Thank you so much, guys, for staying. And inahantay na ako ng mga friends ko sa Sure. So, Yeah, so be ready na rin ako. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Check natin ang ating mahiwagang notebook at baka magkamali ako kung sino next week. Si DA! Si DA. Okay, Mig, si DA na ang uh, guest natin for next week. Yes, DA uh, or Andrew Ramsey. Gusto niya yun. Oh, Englishan din pala to. Englishero din to eh. Okay. Sige, I'll get ready for that. At, uh, yeah, salamat, salamat guys sa lahat ng mga nanood, uh, lahat ng mga nag-share, lahat ng uh, nakikulit, nag-comment. And Katsi, hopefully, makasama ka namin uh, next time. Mark Anthony Madrid Trail. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, see you again next week, guys. Bye!